Hello boys and girls, welcome back for our Friday science video where we have our activity based on what we've been talking about this week. And remember, this week we are talking about the earth, the sun, and how they work together to give us day, night, and our four seasons. So if you made a model, remember a model is a tiny representation of our earth. If you made a model of the earth, Please, please, please share your pictures with White Station's Facebook so we can see how awesome you guys are doing at home with your virtual learning. If you checked out some Discovery Ed videos on your Clever account, you're a rock star, you're an amazing scientist, I'm so proud of you. And today we're going to review what we discussed on our Wednesday video. So I'm going to do a little bit of a trivia and then we're going to watch a quick video and then we're going to do our fun craft, okay? So here's our trivia. Are you ready, boys and girls? What planet do we live on? Earth. Very good. We are in Earth on the solar system. Very good. What about, what are the two things that are on Earth? Hmm, we didn't talk about that much yesterday. The Earth is composed of two different things. Remember, I had blue Play-Doh and green Play-Doh. So the blue Play-Doh was for what? What does the blue Play-Doh represent? the water, the water on the earth. So the blue Play-Doh was the water. And what was the green Play-Doh? The land. Remember, the earth is comprised of water and land. So if you made a model of the earth, that is so cool, boys and girls. All right, here's our next trivia question. I'm going to show you the visual of my model. All right, so here's my earth. Remember, we have our water and our land. And Miss Owen said that there was an imaginary line that she used as a toothpick that goes from the North Pole to the South Pole. So what is that imaginary line called? What's our toothpick represent? The Earth's axis. Very good, boys and girls, the Earth's axis. And remember, the Earth spins every single day to give us day and night. How long does our earth rotate? Who remembers how long it takes for the earth to spin one time? How long does it take the earth to spin one time? 24 hours or one day. If you got that right, kiss your brain. All right, so we have the earth and the earth's axis. We know that it rotates, very good. What happens if you live on this piece of land and you are facing towards the sun. How do you think? Is it day or night? If you are facing the sun, you are towards the sun. Is it day or night? Day. Very good. What if you live on this piece of land and you are way back here? You are away. Oh, little bug. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay. So if you are away from the sun, Remember, away means you're going away from the sun. You are not close to it. Is it day or night? Night. Very good. Remember, there's a shadow that's cast back here. It's very dark back here, so it is night if you are doing that. Very good, boys and girls. Remember, we talked about the earth, how it stays on a path. Remember, I drew our little picture of our sun in the middle, and we have a path that goes around the sun. Remember, the earth rotates around the sun. What is that path called? What are these arrows? What is that path called, boys and girls? The Earth's orbit. Very good. The Earth's orbit, remember, that goes all the way around the sun, and it takes a really, really long time. Remember, Miss Owen said, think about your birthday. How long do we have to wait until we get another birthday? One whole year. It takes this earth one whole year to rotate and orbit all the way around one time. And remember, if we are rotating and we are orbiting around the sun, something happens to our weather. What happens to our weather as our axis tilt is either away or towards the sun. There are four of them. Something happens to our weather and there's parts of our year that changes. What are those four things called that Miss Owen said we were going to talk about today? Four seasons. Very good. All right. Quick true or false question. Is the earth 
always moving or does sometime it stay still? The earth is always moving. True or false? Truth. The, the earth is always moving. It's always rotating and it's always on its orbit. It's always in its path. Very nice, boys and girls. I hope that you made some models of the earth so that we could see and talk about that. All right, so today we're going to talk about our four seasons. Who remembers our four seasons? We have winter and we have spring and we have summer and we have fall. Yes, so we're going to watch a quick video. It's a little cartoon from Discovery Ed that talks about the four seasons and things that you can do in those four seasons. And it's important to pay attention because I'm going to give you a trivia of some pictures. If you can tell me what season it is and our craft is related to that. Remember yesterday, or not yesterday, on Wednesday, I told you that we're going to do a craft that involves the four seasons. We said we were going to talk about what the trees look like during the season, what the weather feels like outside during the season, and also maybe what kind of clothes or activities that you experience or wear during those seasons. So we're gonna watch this quick video, and when we're finished, we will jump into our trivia and finish off with our craft. All right, boys and girls, I'm gonna full screen this for you. Seasons 
All right, boys and girls. So we watched that video video from Discovery Ed about the four seasons and they told us a little bit about the weather and some of the cool activities that you can do during those seasons. So before we get started on our craft, I wanna give you a little trivia to see if you were paying attention on which season was which. Now, before we get started, I wanna remind you that in the video they said autumn and autumn is just another word for fall. You can use both of those words together. So remember we have winter, spring, summer and fall or autumn. That is our fourth, our fourth season for the year. So I'm gonna share my screen and do a quick trivia with you and see if you can guess what our seasons are. But before we start, I'm going to show you, um, we did these yesterday, let me skip through them. All right, can you guess the season? Winter, spring, fall, or summer? So before we get started, we're gonna look at the orbit. Remember, the seasons are determined by when the Earth's axis is tilted. So when it is away from the sun, it is gonna be a little bit colder, and when it's towards the sun, it's going to be summer. So we have winter, spring, summer and autumn or fall, okay? So ready boys and girls, see if you can get which season this is just by the picture. Use your brain to think about what the weather looks like and what the kids are doing in the picture. What is that one? Spring, winter, summer or fall? They're playing in the pool. It looks really hot outside. Maybe a vacation. Summer. If you got summer right, nice job, scientists. It is summer. It's nice and hot. They're in their bathing suits. They're in the pool. Very good. All right, here we go. Ooh, burr. That looks cold. There's snow. There's not very many leaves on the tree. What do we think, boys and girls? Summer winter, spring, or fall. Winter, nice job, very good. Hey, ooh, so pretty. This is Miss Owen's favorite season. The weather looks nice and cool. The, the leaves are starting to turn brown and orange like in the video at the very beginning. They're starting to decay because there's not as much sunlight outside. What is that, summer, winter, fall, or spring? Fall or autumn. All right, last one. Ooh, so beautiful. We've got flowers, lots of green grass and beautiful trees. It looks pretty warm, but not too hot because I see some clouds in the sky. Summer, spring, fall, or winter. What do you think? Spring, nice job. If you got all four of those seasons right, oh my goodness, I've got some smart cookies in here. All right, boys and girls, we're gonna get started on our craft and I'm gonna show you the materials that you need. Remember, you can always pause the video or you can swap out different materials that you have at your house. Remember, we gotta stay safe, stay inside. So if you don't have everything you need, that's okay. You can make do with what you have or you can just watch Miss Owen and plan to make it at a different time. But what you're going to need is, I'm gonna show you my board over here, okay? So you need either a white paper plate. Miss Owen did not have one. Usually the really, really thin ones that have the little ridges on the end are the best one, but I didn't have one. So what I did was I got a white piece of paper and I traced a big circle around it with um, something round at my house. So if you have something round and you want to trace a big circle that takes up your almost your whole page, then you can use that as well. If you don't wanna make a circle, you can leave it a square, it's up to you. But you need that, a paper plate or a piece of white paper. We need scissors. And you need some colored pencils or some crayons or some markers or maybe even some paint. Okay, so if you need some help with any of this stuff, make sure you ask your mom and your dad. If you're using paint, make sure that it's okay and that everything is protected on your table so that you don't get out all messy and crazy and get your clothes all dirty, okay? So these are really, really simple things. We're going to label and do an activity with our four seasons. And remember, I asked you to brainstorm three things about those seasons. We said, what is the weather like? 
what would a tree look like and what kind of activities or clothes could we wear um, during those seasons. So what we're gonna do, if you have a paper plate, then this is gonna be easy for you. You don't have to cut anything out so you can skip the cutting step. But since I didn't have a paper plate, I'm gonna cut all the way around my circle. So I want you to get that. And remember, you can always pause your video if Miss Owen's going too fast and you need a little extra time or if you need to run to the other room to get your materials. Okay, so remember these videos, it's pretty cool. You can always stop it if you need to or rewind it if you need to watch something different or you need to see the instructions again. Remember, when we're cutting, we got to stay on the line as best we can. If you have a paper plate, you don't even need to cut. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of that, and I have my circle left over. Okay, so that kind of looks like if I had a paper plate. If you have one, that'll be easy. Next, we are going to fold our paper plate or our piece of white paper into fourths or quarters. So if you remember learning about your fractions in math, so you know how to do that. So remember to fold something in half, they have to be equal sides, equal pieces. Remember, think about it like a slice of pizza. If you try to cut something and somebody gets a tiny piece of pizza, that's not fair. Remember, they have to be equal shares, equal slices, equal parts. So what we're going to do is we're gonna fold our circle in half. So line it up on the sides. We've got our circle in half. So that gives us how many parts? One, two parts, but how many seasons do we have? Four, we have four seasons, so we need to fold it one more time into what? Fourths or quarters. Remember those words are the same, fourths and quarters. So look, here we go, we've got our pieces, and when we open it up, we have four equal parts. Now, if you look at the areas that we folded, it might be a little bit easier for you to take your colored pencil or a crown or marker or paint. But remember, if you're using paint, you might wanna let it dry or else it's gonna be really messy. I'm going to draw a line so that it is easier for me to see my four equal parts. Because remember, we have four seasons, so we need four parts. A little bit tricky to see. Hopefully, it will focus a little bit so you can see Miss Owen's drawing. It's a little bit easier to read now. It's so bright out here. I'm going to put, hmm, maybe I'll put my book underneath it so it's something hard for me to draw on. There we go. All right. So here's my four seasons. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to label our seasons. So we need to think about what the names of our four seasons are. So our first one in January, let's think about December and January when it's really cold. What season is that? Winter. So I'm going to go and do it on the top part. You don't have to do it in the same way Miss Owen does, but if you want to follow along, you can. You can mix them up and do them however you want. So I'm going to write winter at the top. So we have w, w, n, t, er, winter. We have winter, w, i, n, t, e, r, winter. So it's cold outside. The earth is rotating and going on its orbit and a little bit more sun is starting to show, the flowers are starting to grow, the trees are getting green, it's getting a little bit warmer in March, March and April. What season did Miss Owen say we were in right now? Hmm, spring, it is springtime, so let's sound that out. It's got one of our three letter blends at the top, so let's think about that, spur, spur, ing remember ing says ing so we have winter spring spring s p r i n g spring okay now it's warm it's getting a little bit warmer the sun is right on the earth it's tilted towards the sun it's very very hot we might want to jump in the pool what season is that Summer. So I'm going to go around, kind of like I'm going clockwise. So we have summer. Um, yeah, let's put it at the top. Summer. S uh, 
summer, summer, S U M M E R, summer. All right, so now it's summer. The earth is rotating away from the sun. It's getting a little bit cooler. The leaves are starting to turn orange and red and brown. They're falling off the trees. It's Miss Owen's favorite season. Do you remember? Fall or autumn. Very good. I'm going to write the word fall. 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 Very good. Nice job. We have all four of our seasons. Winter, spring, summer, fall. If you need to pause this video and you want to decorate your words, you can. If you want to change colors, make them rainbow, that is up to you. So the first thing I want us to do is I want us to draw a tree on all of our sections, all of our equal parts of our wheel. And I'm just going to make these really easy. I'm going to take my brown crown. You can make these as beautiful as you want. And don't make fun of Miss Owen's drawing because I know I draw pretty crazy, okay? But I'm going to make some pretty simple trees on every single one of my parts. Because remember, trees are always around, but they don't always look the same throughout the seasons. So I'm just going to draw my trunk on all of my seasons. I'm going to draw them at the bottom, and you can color them in if you want. And we can draw some branches as we talk about what those trees look like. But I'm going to draw this really quick. If you want to go back and make it beautiful or pause this video and make it artistic and perfect, I know Ms. Shirley has probably taught y'all really great methods to drawing your portraits and your landscapes. So I'm just going to draw my tree trunks really quick. All right, so let's talk about winter. It's really, really cold. The leaves do not have a lot of oxygen. They don't have a lot of air. They don't have a lot um, of sun. So what do you think happens to all those leaves? They die. They fall off in winter. There's usually not very many trees that have leaves left in winter. So I'm going to draw some branches, some really easy branches with no leaves. Remember, don't make fun of Miss Owen's drawings. I know they look crazy and silly. All right, so my winter tree does not have any leaves on it. It is way too cold. Did you draw your winter tree? Good job. All right, next we have our spring tree. Remember, it's starting to get warmer. The flowers are blossoming. The trees look nice and pretty. They're usually very colorful. So what I'm going to do is draw some branches, draw some lines like this, maybe color some of them in. And I'm going to start using my green because the leaves are starting to form. So I'm just going to do some little spirals to make it really easy because remember, we want these crafts to be quick and easy with materials that you have at the house. And because all of the flowers are starting to bloom, I'm going to draw some little flowers in there too. Remember, if Miss Owen's going too fast, you can pause the video, take your time. I want yours to be beautiful. Okay, so once you have your flowers, you can do rainbow flowers, pink flowers, yellow flowers. It is up to you. Okay, so there's my tree with the green leaves and the purple flowers. Now we have summer. Our summer tree is probably pretty similar to our spring tree in that it's very healthy and there are lots of flowers. Um, I just like to draw really healthy green trees in the summer because sometimes plants cannot survive if it is um, way too hot. They might die because it's really dry outside and some plants cannot live in the direct sunlight because it's too hot. So in the summertime, I just like to draw really healthy green trees. So that's what I'm gonna do for the summertime. And last but not least, we have our fall tree. I'm gonna draw my branches. And who remembers in our Discovery Ed video, our character, Sid, he said that he 
um, went outside and something was wrong with the leaves. What was happening to the leaves? They weren't green anymore. What color were they? They were brown and red and orange, but you know what? I think that is so pretty. I like when the fall leaves are out because I just think it looks so pretty. It's nice and cool outside. It's Halloween time and Thanksgiving where you have pumpkins. So that's why it's Miss Owen's favorite season. But if you don't like fall, that's okay. So we've got all these different color leaves, all these different colors in our tree. The trees are a little bit barren because there aren't a lot of, there's not a lot, there's not as much sun. So they're starting to lose their green. They start fading out and becoming a little bit more empty on the branches. Okay. So when you're finished drawing your four trees, now we're going to talk about maybe what the weather looks like outside or maybe some activities that you can do. So in winter, what do you think the sky looks like? What do you think about the sun and the weather outside? In winter, it's really cold. It might even be snowing. And Tennessee didn't snow too much this year, did it, boys and girls? But that's okay. I'm going to draw some little snowflakes up here because it could be really cold. And I know snow and snowflakes are white, but it's a little bit easier to see since we're doing it on white paper. So I'm going to put my snow at the bottom. We talked about some activities that you could do. So maybe you could build a snowman. It'll kind of be hard for me to show you my snowman, but if you want to draw one, you can. Okay. Okay, in the springtime, what do you think the sky looks like? Remember, it's warm. It's not as hot as the summertime, but it's still warm enough so you go outside and play. So we've got good grass going on in the summertime, in the springtime. There's flowers. People are having picnics outside. So maybe you can draw some different flowers on the ground. Whatever color you want. Maybe I'll do a yellow one. Maybe a purple flower. Maybe a quick little rose. Okay, remember the sun is out, but it's still a little bit cloudy. So I'm gonna draw my sun, a little sun, but I'm gonna draw a little bit of cloud in front of it. So remember, it's not too hot, but it's still pretty hot. Okay, so we've got our flowers and our sun. Remember, you can pause this video to take your time. All right, in the summertime, what does it look like outside? Oh, it's summer vacation. People are going to the beach. They're riding their bikes. They've got shorts and t-shirts and tank tops and bathing suits on. And the sun is big and there's not a lot of clouds, boys and girls. It is hot, hot, hot. If you want to draw yourself playing in the pool, you can. Miss Owen's running out of space, so I just want you to talk about it if you don't have any space. But here's my son. Maybe people are flying kites in the summertime or in the springtime, all kinds of activities. And our last one, fall weather. So the grass might be a little bit green, but it might also be dying. So I might do a little bit of brown and a little bit of green. And remember in the fall, there's not a lot of sun. There's more clouds than there are. So I'm gonna draw a little sun just like I did in the spring. But I'm gonna put, a, I'm gonna put more clouds in front of it so it's a little bit harder to see. All right, boys and girls, here is my finished season wheel where it has all four of our seasons and what it looks like outside. If you want to draw a different season wheel and put different activities in there or different flowers that you see, you can research that. Um, what it looks like in your, in your city or maybe if you went and visited somebody that lives on a different um, side of the earth, if you know somebody like that, you, these might look totally different. Remember, this is what um, 
our our summer our southern winter looks like so remember all of these are different but these are just general ideas about what they look like all right boys and girls i'm so glad that you were watching with me today and that you were tuning in and participating with this activity if you make your season wheel and you make a beautiful master please please share it on the white station facebook page so that we can see it miss owen can see it and that we can congratulate you for your amazing participation in virtual learning i will see you next week for a new idea and if you want to learn something specific make sure that you let me know so that we can do some cool science experiments based on what you want to know and based on our Tennessee standards. So I want it to be as fun as possible. I hope that you enjoyed last week and this week, and I will see you next time. Bye boys and girls.